so first video review for this week is for Failure to Appear by Emily L. Quint Freeman. And um, if you want to check out my Goodreads review, I have just posted that the other day. Uh, so if you are on YouTube, there is a link in the description below. And if you are on Facebook or on my blog, then there is a link within the post. And this is the video review. So Failure to Appear by Emily L. Quint Freeman. Um, it's a memoir, this one. So when I uh, received a review copy of this, I was really, really excited to find out what it was all about. I do actually really like memoirs, and I have loads of them, but I have, like, famous people ones, like, celebrity ones. And so, um, Emily L. Quint Freeman, she has brought us a very emotional and completely fascinating memoir. Um, it's a really a unique look into the life of a young woman who's just trying to do what's right, stand up for her beliefs, and survive in, in an ever-changing world. Um, so being a memoir, um, it very vividly captures the times of the 60s through to the 80s and the period that period of the author's life um, and all the things that she was going through um, and doing during that time. So I really didn't know what to expect because obviously everybody's different. Everybody has a different life story and I really ended up loving this. Um, it was, it's, I'm going to say expect the unexpected because you will get so much from this memoir that you won't believe it until you've actually sat down and read it. Um, it I was very moved and I was quite humbled and inspired reading Emily's memoir. Um, she, she really hit home with how cruel uh, the world can be, was, and how scary it can be if you're alone. Um, especially in times that weren't as liberated as they are now, and I think we're quite lucky nowadays um, compared to what you what you're reading her go through the six the sort of late sixties uh, to the eighties, um, all that sort of what you're having to experience with her. Um, but we still we still have some of these issues in the present day, and it was very important to read this and, and understand everything that she went through. She was kind of a pioneer um, in paving the way for a lot of things, you know, right human rights. Uh, anti-war everything you know she really got involved and um, there was a lot of history in here it was really packed with history history that I sort of know um, but it was nice to get a unique perspective on it. it was nice to get somebody's perspective on it and how they lived through it coped with it and how it affected them personally and people they knew um, but especially for younger generations I say this is something you will learn from this is this is a memoir you can learn from and for those of you who are um, are old enough to remember <laughs> Um, these times then it might just be nostalgic for you or you, it might open your eyes to something you didn't know um, was happening at those times as well so I think for everyone you can learn from it but for the younger generations you can you can I really learned a lot from this obviously I wasn't alive then so I have no idea what was going on I obviously other than what you see in the media and the television um, it was nice like say to get a personal perspective on the historical times um, from then and the events that sort of surrounded Emily's life. Um, but it was an exciting story of a life that is really historically important. Um, Emily's really paved the way for us to be where we are today. She was she was active in 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 pursuing uh, moral rights and, and fighting for people who couldn't fight for their own voice and all sorts of things. Brilliant, um, really inspiring. And I was absolutely fascinated uh, learning how a simple act because that's basically what happens Emily she's involved in a simple act and it led to such adventure now whether you call that exciting adventure or whether you call that scary adventure is how you will personally take this story I think this adventure had a lot of excitement for her but it was also really really scary she must have been absolutely terrified and um she's really brave she's really brave not only to share this uh, story her life with us in this way but also um to to be so deep in giving so much insight into what she went through um, there was such solace um, in the decision that she made as well as adventure and it really impacted her life really drastically um, but it was very like I say it was very brave of her and brave and to share her story she's she's quite heroic and inspiring to me I think she's a really important person and I didn't know anything about her until I read this memoir and now I know about her I'm, I'm like I say I'm really humbled to to know her story and she really did advocate for fairness and love and equality and um, making the world a better place and her understanding of people and life and what it's all about was only enhanced by the actions and thoughts she had during this time um, and, and obviously the, the circumstances surrounding it so so much happened so much happened in this memoir there's so much packed into it um, 
and some of it still rings true today so it's still relevant it's still relevant but it was nice to read about how emily dealt with it in those times and um there's some very important messages in there too so for me i really adored being able to have this insight on emily's thoughts and feelings and actions and her world at that time and even now when she's written this memoir she's looked back on those times and she's given us her viewpoint as she sort of see, saw it then and sees it now um very inspiring and so to me this has to be a recommended read for everyone um I loved every second of Emily's story and I feel very lucky to have been privy to the memoir and the information she gave us and I really was in awe of her by the end of it. Um, when you read it you'll understand why. It's one of those books that you can't help but be quite emotionally invested in because you know it's relevant, it's a memoir so it's happened, this is this is factually true, um, well it's factually true to a certain extent because obviously it's been put into a book but it's it's Emily's life and she's been very brave to share it with us whether she's sort of changed some of that or not it's still accurate it's still true and I think it was very brave of her to share it um, but I just very much felt like I was lost in it and in the moment with her and experiencing it with her you really did feel like you were there and it was absolutely fantastic um, very a very important memoir I think um, that I genuinely, I have to rave about it, I have to recommend it to you, I have to recommend that you give it a go. Um, even if you think a memoir is not for you, you'll be really surprised with this one. It's important to the LGBT community and anyone who stands up for the rights of people, uh, women, anything. Um, if you are a believer in that equality, love and fairness should be what it should be let's put it that way i'm trying to think of the right words and i really can't do it justice um then this book will inspire you it's absolutely inspired and i really really loved it so i hope you will go and check out emily's memoir um failure to appear by emily l quint freeman so that you can go and grab a copy i'll pop a link in the description uh so that you like i say can go grab yourselves a copy if you've read failure to appear by emily l quint freeman please let me know what you thought of it please get in touch it's always great to hear your thoughts on books especially ones like this that are a bit different um that not everyone will have read because it's it's a memoir and it's new and it's out and i think everyone should just give it a try so if you have read it i would love i would really love to hear your thoughts on it it'd be really great and i'm sure emily would too um and if you haven't read it yet but it's on you to read to be read list or you're now interested in reading it or you've seen this review and you're thinking wow i really want to check that out again get involved comment below because it's always great to hear what you're interested in reading and if you do read it firstly i hope you're inspired secondly i hope you feel emotionally connected to it because there is so much in there for you to connect with and thirdly i really hope you enjoy emily's memoir and adventure and get fully immersed in it because it was absolutely brilliant bye